Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some cool things that I learned on TikTok. The American cockroach can withstand 900 times its body weight without getting an injury. But it won't survive this. <laughs> Why y'all messing with it like that? They are indestructible. Bro, I be smacking Ooh. them with a slipper and they still survive and crawl away. This reminds me like one of them Ikea chair commercials where they got this thing like, how many sits can this chair take? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Or do I sound insane? You know what's crazy about having these things in my eyes, right? It lets you see how the eyes actually work. So I'm pretty sure these little things are how you put your contact lenses in. But this is kind of crazy what this guy discovered wearing these. Like how the eyes work. Your eyes work. don't move very smoothly. Like when I move my head, you can kind of see how my eyes try to track what I'm looking at. Right? But sometimes you can move your eyes smoothly if it's following something. So if I hold my finger out and I move my finger, you can see my eyes moving smoothly. But if I try to just move my eyes like that, you can't do it smoothly. Interesting. You know, it's always been so fascinating to me how similar like a camera lens works to the human eye. The way it just like tracks things and like the, how the focus works. But it's like, if you're like looking at something move, like your eyes move smoothly. But if it's like not locked onto an object, kind of move a little funny. Interesting. This is a banana. That's a banana. That's where bananas come from. That's a banana? There's a bunch of little baby bananas in there. What? And then they'll look like this. What do you mean? And then they start to look like this, and then they get bigger and bigger. Whoa. And this is a banana tree. It's like a banana tree of life. It's like they start out as those tiny little yellow things. I would not have thought that was a banana. But somehow, that turns into that. Well, bam Full-blown banana. The life cycle of a banana. How I learned to eat spaghetti in Kenya. Y'all eat spaghetti differently? Whoa. This is wild. So instead of just like slurping it up, she's literally winding up the spaghetti inside her mouth using her tongue. Spaghetti, tongue. That's what I got from that little performance. How they cut trees. That is terrifying. How, what is it gonna do? Oh, it just slices it from the bottom. I have never seen one of these devices before and honestly, I hope I never do. That thing is scary. If it could do that to a tree, think about what it could do to you. This is how caviar is made. They just be massaging the eggs out of the fish. Just, ooh, you squeeze them on out. That is thousands and thousands of dollars right there. I like caviar, but like not like that much. Maybe just like a couple of eggs sprinkled on an appetizer or like a little piece of salmon. But like some people just eat it straight up by the spoonful. I don't like the way it comes out of the hole. Looking like some very expensive Taco Bell aftermath. Living up high is all fun and games until it starts sounding like a pirate ship. Mm -mm. Does it really sound like that? Nah, that is terrifying. The glass is literally moving. That does not look very that safe. We just have to trust that we're safe in our little glass sky box. I would not be able to sleep. I don't want a penthouse no more. I am always looking for some new garlic hacks. But what was that? Did you see how easy that was to peel garlic? You just stick the knife in and just pull it out? What? I've been holding it over the sink, hand peeling every single little piece of garlic. I know, very time consuming, okay? When this whole time you're telling me you could just stab it and pull it out? Look how simple that was. Oh. Wow. You know this art set that every one of us had when we were a kid? You know these markers? They were horrible. They never had any juice. But I guess the whole time we were doing it wrong. Look, disgusting, horrible. Throw the whole marker away. No. You're supposed to take out the cartridge. Put water into them. And it is a brand new juicy moist marker. Why didn't these come with instructions? Or do they just dry out really fast? They needed to be like rehydrated. How many of us just threw them away? Never used them. All you had to do was soak it in water. That's honestly such a waste. I feel cheated. Lied to. Did you know airplanes can print money? No, they can't. Airplanes do not print money. Just pressing a bunch of buttons. Where's the little money printer? Oh, there. <laughs> There it is, money. So it's not a money printer. It's just a machine for money conversion. Cause I mean, a plane flies to different countries and sometimes the flight crew needs currency in that country so they can just get it from the plane. Put in some dollars, get some euros, simple. 
You know, this took my brain a hot second to process. This is the lightest material on earth. It's called graphene aerogel, and it weighs less than air. So you see this little material, it looks heavy, right? You can put it on top of a flower, on top of a dandelion, like a hat, without disrupting the dandelion. It weighs as little as one seventh of the weight of air. How do you weigh less than air? You know, I thought air was the lightest. No, it's graphene aerogel. I didn't know he chill like that. Did you know that you can split? Amazon bags, inside out, and then it has a different sticky thing on the inside, so if you have a return, you can just reuse the same bag. Really? Three, six. What? I had no idea. But yeah, it does have the tape on the inside too, and I, I was like, what's the point of this? So you can like reseal it? But no, you can literally turn it inside out. And if you have a return, just like fold it. Ah! Well, for those of you who didn't know, now you know. This is how they put a horse under anesthesia. They gotta put him to sleep for some surgery. That's a lot of anesthesia. And he is down, asleep. Put a tube through his mouth so he can breathe. Are we just gonna suspend him? I really hope this does not end how I think it's gonna end. He's on an operating table. So glad it's not a dining table. You're probably like, people eat horse? I went to a restaurant in Japan, it was on the menu. Horse sashimi. I don't know if I would ever try it though. No, because it took me 28 years to figure out that cows can only be females. It's like one of those things that you don't like realize until you think about it and you're like, wait, all cows are females. All bulls are males. Yes, science. Mama make the milk. The moment we've all been waiting for, and by all, I mean me. We've all watched these monkey videos, seeing them drop these monkey sacks. But what is inside? I think it's gonna be sand. It's like a rock. Is it a rock? No, it's sand. I was correct. Monkey is really sand sack. Confirmed my suspicions. This is what a pregnant kangaroo looks like. You can literally reach into its pocket and look, you see the baby growing right there. And this is six months in. So to check on the growth of the baby, you just literally reach into the pocket and you can like look in. That's kind of crazy. It's like a baby making window. You know, when my cookies are in the oven, I turn on the light, look through the window, keep checking on them until they're done. Kangaroo baby, same vibe. You're ever traveling, make sure you guys are aware how security systems in your bag can be breached, okay? A lot of people I see travel with locks on their suitcases, special combinations. With just a pen, you are actually able to breach a suitcase's security. So it doesn't matter if you have a fancy lock on your suitcase, TSA can still open it. You know, I just thought they had like a universal key that can open up any lock. Because sometimes if you check your bag, they will search your suitcase, you know, and then you'll get a nice little note that said they went through your things. I'm gonna go. So you just basically around, take the pen, watch. go around the zipper. This once zipped up bag was opened with just a pen. Is it that simple? Bro didn't just open the bag, you just destroyed the zipper. It's kind of unnecessary. This is how they paint a window. You don't want to bother taping every single edge of the glass so that paint doesn't get on the glass. There is a stuff that you could paint on the window. And watch, this is very satisfying. And then just paint over the entire thing. And then when you're done painting, just pull off the excess paint and those edges are clean. I feel like this is kind of a waste of paint. But it's like, would you rather do this or would you rather put tape on the window and then peel off the tape after? Or if you had some god mode precision. POV, you're from London, and you just discovered this is how Dutch kids go to school. Instead of putting them on a bus, they just like load them into a wagon, and then just like take them to school. That is so cool. This is so much more efficient than a bus. Also, I feel like this would be like super cramped. Nah, this would be so fun. Like just load up all the children and drive them on down to school. You know in Japan, like really little kids, like five years old, will just like walk to school alone? That's how safe it is. I don't know, ever since I found out mushroom DNA is more similar to human DNA than it is to like grass DNA and that's why it tastes meaty, I just haven't been the same. Is there like more of a scientific explanation for this? You know, mushroom DNA being closer to human DNA, that does, don't sit right with me. You know, mushroom is a fun guy. I don't know. Mushrooms do be delicious though. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.